This is a story that I read to my girls when they were little. Puppy Too Small by Cindy Zecharis. And here's where my girls drew all over the book. <laughs> I must not have saw that until it was too late. I'm too small, wailed Puppy. I can't reach the doorknob. But you can reach the cookies on the table, said Mouse. Please share one with me. And Puppy did. Hmm, Mouse couldn't reach that one, could he? I'm too small, wailed Puppy. I can't pull my toy box. But you can pull my wagon full of dear ones, Mrs. Bunny said. Would you? And Puppy did. I'm too small, wailed Puppy. I can't climb the tree. But you can swing from it, said Squirrel. Please, please swing with me. And Puppy did. I'm too small, wailed Puppy. I can't dig a hole big enough to play in. Chipmunk said, this is just right for my acorns. Will you yet let me use it? And Puppy did. I'm too small, wailed Puppy. I can't hammer on the workbench. You can fit under it and fix the leg, Daddy said. Will you? And Puppy did. I'm too small, wailed Puppy. I can't carry my chair. But you can carry my sewing basket, said Grandma. Please do. And Puppy did. Mama helped Puppy get ready for bed. Today, she said, you have reached a cookie on the table, pulled a wagon full of dear ones, swung on a swing, dug a hole for acorns, fixed a leg on the workbench, and carried a sewing basket. Do you know why? Why, asked Puppy. Because you are just the right size, said Mama. And she gave Puppy a hug and a kiss and a squeeze. The end. So many times... We think we're too small and we can't do anything. But that's when David, the little shepherd boy, was able to defeat Goliath and the whole army because he listened and obeyed when God told him, you're not too small to do this.